But the, the first opportunity that really came to me was as a record producer. So what I did day in and day out was exercise the producing muscle. Right. Where I could have I could have been exercising the songwriting muscle at the same time. Songwriters are always trying to write songs that turn on the artist and the producer and make them want to cut it. Now you've had success as a writer. Um, give it all you got, George Strait. I know you went to Europe and you wrote some stuff with Shakira. Yeah, uh, um, we recorded four of those songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, do you think? What is it about producing that gives you a unique perspective to the songwriting process that might help some of these people out here that are... Because I, I have a feeling that there's probably some good things that you've picked up um, producing that are that if every songwriter could kind of have that knowledge, it would, it would be beneficial. Well, first of all, I have to say that I, I, I was... I... I wish I could go back and and redo and change some of the early mistakes I made because uh, when I first moved to Nashville, obviously I wanted to be a record producer. I've wanted to do that since I'm eight years old. Um, But I also, as a teenager, was writing. Um, But the, the first opportunity that really came to me was as a record producer. So what I did day in and day out was exercise the producing muscle. Right. Where I could have, I could have been exercising the songwriting muscle at the same time because songwriting is like anything. Yeah. The more you do it, uh, the more you push yourself, the better you're going to be. It's that I've subscribed to the Malcolm Gladwell ten thousand hours yeah. ideal. I do. I think that's that's true. Um, but I spent morning, noon, and night um, working on my producer chops. And uh, so that I would, uh, that's my regret. Right. Um, but songwriting is like <coughs> anything. Yeah, you know, some of us have more of a gifting than others, but I can, I know guys that didn't have their first hit until they were 40. Um, and uh, <laughs> so I think that the more you exercise that songwriting muscle, the, the better you're going to be at it. And it's just all about that. But do you think there's any, when you're sitting in the writing room, is do you have any the producer voices while you're writing that kind of help the process, or do you have to turn that off? And it's, you, no, it's, it's, it's always going, because right. it's always this sort of this silent, moving picture going on in my brain. So what is it saying to you in there? It's, it's just saying, <laughs> I know what the drums are going to sound like, and then it, and it, in the bridge, it's going to do this as I'm writing the song. Right. I'm, and... Uh, but you know it, it that that whole thing for me never shuts off. Even right. at, late into the night, I will wake up going, "Oh, I love! I got to get this idea down." And it's some sort of production idea, some sort of you know flourish of notes or or something. And um, but I love that, and I never want to shut that valve off. I just wish those same epiphanies would come to me as consistently with songwriting. 